be a true. Hmm. I feel like maybe you have a special place in hell waiting for you. Because if you wake up every morning, you have your bath, you have breakfast, you carry your phone, and you go to those pages and you start typing things that if they say to you, you are going to break down and you are going to cry. Ah! That means there, there's just this part of your heart that is very dark. Well, my name is Sophia Chisom. Uh, you know me as Soso. <laughs> uh, I'm a graduate of the University of Potakot. I studied political science and public administration. I'm from Anambra State, uh, Navy to be precise. And what else? I'm a content creator. I don't want to get anything to do with poverty. Jesus! I don't want to be involved. I've always known I wanted to be in entertainment. I just didn't know what area exactly. So I started putting my hands into pictures. I was taking pictures, which is what I was popular for. And then last year, my creative director reaches out to me and tells me, oh, we are going to take pictures for a certain time, but we need to try something else. And I'm like, okay, what do you have in mind? And it says comedy. I'm like, uh, hmm, hmm. okay, can I hear what you have to say? And he says, oh, yes, you, you'll be hawking pure water. I'm like, okay. Uh, let me hear what you have. So he tells me the story he has. I'm like, okay, so we need an outfit. I check my wardrobe. I see my mom's skirts. I cut it up because it's too long. I see a polo of mine. I get it. And then, actually, there was our last bond. I went and bought the bow. I gave him one. I said, I'm going to buy bow. He goes, come back with the black bow. I'm like, okay, no problem. And then we just shot. And as we shot, we posted. And I'm like, hmm, this thing seems to be doing well. There was mixed feelings of, ah, so she can go from being a, yeah, a fine girl to doing this. So, like, we're trying to understand. And I said, see, let's just talk, no need. He said, no, continue, consistency. He really pushed me, to be honest. Hi, pure water. My father felt like, yeah, I was a waste of school fees, to be honest. <laughs> because he felt like, no, you didn't go to the university, I come and start selling pure water. Because I never wanted to work. I served at the, I served the Ministry of Petroleum. Yeah, they were paying me very wonderful salary, apart from NYC paying me. I served. Uh, yeah, I mean, if I have pushed for retainment, they would have retained me, yes. But I, I, I know I didn't want to do a 9 to 5. So, even when they kept pushing me, oh, do, do, do this job, this job, this job, custom, this one, this one, I'm like... Ha. It's like parents like the, this whole work thing, to be honest. <laughs> ah, pension, pension, this one, this one. But I have always known that I didn't want to go and sit in an office, come back in the evening, I've always known. It's not easy, you. Oh. Hmm. It's not easy. Some days, some days you will wake up from your bed and be like, God, there's no content coming to my head. And some days your script writers will send you scripts and you'll be like, what is this? Did you read this before sending it to me? You did? It sounded funny to you? Oh, nice, of course. We're all good. And then some days you shoot and after shooting and editing, you don't like the content, you don't post. But sometimes you spend money in doing the actual things. Like the last one I shot, we had to rent a hall. We paid for a hall. It was a wedding scene. We paid for the wedding gown. We bought a cake that was smashed. Wow. Exactly. So you spend all this money. You paid the people that came to do audience in this thing. So you spend all this money and you get content. So you have to be, able, be willing to put in the work and sometimes the money. Because sometimes you may not have the money. So you have to look for a way to tweak it and look for a content that would be less expensive for you. People that know me know that I'm a chef. Right? I used to do that before I started content creating. Yeah, but I have to pipe down because I'm like, I need to fully stabilize content creating and then now bringing the chef thing back. So I'm, I'm planning on reopening it. I'll probably, no, very soon. I'm planning on opening it. I will just do maybe cooking once a week. You know how many we get together? I don't feel to do the trial already. So if you want to get into the industry, first thing you need is a good story, if you like. Let a baby hold the camera. Anyhow, you post it. All it takes is just one person to see the content like no mad. And they post it on their platform, right? So you need a good story. Once you have a good story, you need the camera to shoot it. Once you have the camera to shoot it and you shoot and drop, you now have to be consistent. Please, 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 please. Don't stop. Let them not see you coming, right? Just post and post and post. You experience challenges or maybe you post it and there's only one view you will get. Don't worry. The one that you will get five views coming from five views, ten views, from ten views, one thousand, just like that. It's going to keep increasing whether you like it or not. But you will be discouraged when you come and see just how many comments and this thing. But let it not kill your spirit. This that's just just know that it's part of it, right? You are going to come and see engagement that is no good. But still, don't give up. And I know you. What force? I'm 
Extra força. Extra força. <risos> 